Today is the 28th anniversary of the Pokemon trading card game, going back to the Japanese base set of 1996. And to honor the occasion, Pokemon Japan dropped a new advertisement encouraging us to open more packs. And also, it had a huge reveal about the next high-class Japanese set, the EV set we've all been waiting for. Is it going to be the next Evolving Skies? Let's get to it. Before we get into Trestle Festival, let's talk about the ad. I felt like the ad was like 50% about Pokemon Pocket and opening digital packs. Personally, I think Pokemon Pocket is going to be a great addition to the trading card game. It's going to be a simplified version. It's going to bring in a lot of new young collectors and players into the hobby. People old and new are going to be able to use this app, collect digital things, which honestly, I think collecting digital things is fun too. I have a huge movie collection as well as, you know, NFTs and whatnot. Why not Pokemon? I, I think it's a great addition, but I did feel like the ad focused on it a lot. Some people might be turned off on that. Check You can check out the whole ad if you want. I'm going to leave it down in the video description. I can't run the ad here, and I shouldn't because it's their content and they should run it. But I am going to show you some of the clips that I grabbed out of the video so that we can talk about what we did see. So what do we know about Terrestrial Festival right now? It's been rumored that it's going to be an EV set with all the evolutions in it. We don't know for sure if all of the evolutions are in it, but based on the ad today, we know at least Eevee and two other evolutions are in it because they're on the pack art. And I would expect at least those three, hopefully at least the evolutions are gonna get an SAR in this set. We also see on the ad, uh, Teal Mask Ogre Pond is on there and also Terrapagos is on there as well. Now, high class sets typically have a lot of reprints of artwork, especially for the double rare EX cards. Uh, but hopefully this is going to introduce, uh, I mean, it should introduce some brand new SARs and SIRs that we've never seen before. And, uh, you know, take it for a grain of salt, but I'll be ordering every box I possibly can. I expect the pre-orders to happen in the next two weeks, roughly. The set releases in Japan on December 8th. It's going to become to... The states and worldwide outside of Japan, uh, January 17th. So we still have some time to wait. We got to get through the holiday season in the and uh, and then we're going to be able to, you know, get into the very last year of Scarlet and Violet. Essentially, it's going to be an interesting year. This is when things start to really ramp up and get crazy. We got the Pikachu set uh, in about three weeks here. That's going to be fantastic. And everything from here on out could just be phenomenal. And hopefully we get some really huge surprises. As far as pre-ordering on Pokemon Center in Japan, uh, like I said, that should happen in the next couple of weeks. I'm really hoping that it's going to be like all the sets have been to date where we can pre-order five of them. Uh, if it turns out that they're going to go back to the lottery system for this set, or if it turns out that they're going to require a phone number in Japan to order, this could be really drastic for for availability to people outside of Japan, uh, which is going to cost cost us. The price of the packs are going to go up like crazy because this is a high class set. It's going to be one of those smaller rectangle boxes with ten packs. Every pack is going to have a hit in it, and uh, but you'll still get your your one SR better in the box. And who knows, they could have some more God Packs in here. Um, and could you imagine an Evolution pack that's a God Pack with all of them in there? That'd be absolutely insane. Based on the pack art, we absolutely know that Glaceon and uh, Umbreon, as well as Eevee, who's on the center of the artwork, is going to be featured in this set. I would expect them to all get special illustration rares. And if all three of those and just those three have special illustration rares, the set is going to be bonkers. It's going to be phenomenal. On top of that, Teal Mask Ogre Palm returns. Honestly, he's had enough SARs. <laughs> we don't need any more of him. And then uh, Tropicos is on there, who's also had an SAR. So uh, will they give him another one? I don't know. I, I would love to see a different artwork of him. Um, you know, just a completely different style. Even though the SAR that we do have is 
is phenomenal. That artwork is phenomenal, in my opinion. Uh, seeing him in a different light would be would be fantastic as well. And just seeing what's on this pack art, I am super hyped about this set. Now, they really quickly let us see a kid open a pack, but all we see is the last two cards, you know, to reveal that hit. But there is a reprint artwork of Halucha. Uh, you can see the stamp down below that it is SV8A, essentially the number for the high class set that comes after SV8. And uh, so really quickly we see Halucha. It's the same exact attacks and ability that he has before from uh, Scarlet, from Scarlet and Violet 1 for us. And uh, then of course, bam, right to the EV card. Obviously, it's terrestrialized form. We can probably expect all the EVs to be terrestrialized form in this set. Um, but I think the artwork looks phenomenal for this double rare EV. And I've really been enjoying the artworks and just the, the texture and the rainbow foiling around the outside uh, of, this, of the terrestrialized cards that they've been introducing in the last few sets. It'll be really interesting to see if this EV turns out to be great in the uh, in the trading card game because obviously the EV can evolve to any of the other other evolutions. We can see from the EV that it's card 126 out of 187. That's uh, 187 cards before we hit the secret rares. I'm expecting you know 50 or 60 secret rares in there with the full art trainers, full art Pokemon, special illustration rares. Looking at about a 230 card set. Um, I'm not expecting any of these EVs to be cheap or easy to track down in this set. I think it's going to be a super fun set. It's going to really depend on whether or not the artworks are phenomenal, what the special illustration rares look like. Uh, I know a lot of people are turned off by the terrestrializations and, you know, the hats on their head. But personally, I love EV. It's one of my one of my favorite characters, Pokemon the, and all of the evolutions is just a super cool aspect of Eevee. Um, I'm 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 gonna go ham on this set, and uh, you know I can't wait I can't wait to open some and hopefully pull some of those SARs. What do you guys think of the news that they dropped today in this new set? Are you super excited for it? Uh, I know a lot of you are hoping for that Team Rocket set. I'm expecting we're expecting that to come out. Uh, I guess a few months later. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be another high class set like this one if it if it is i think we're we're looking for mid-year mid-year next year for it to come to the states anyways i just want to share this information i hope you were entertained and found it useful subscribe if you want more content from me and i'll catch you guys in the next video <gasps>